I don't understand why you're crying. Like, man, that Danis, I don't, why are you crying now? What is the main reason why you are crying? Let me cook who beat you so that we know that the reason why you are crying is because I beat you. Because there's nothing that has happened now. You're just crying. Why are you crying? Hello once again, welcome back to my channel. I'm Adi Banjo Faith. If you're seeing for the first time, and in this video, I'm going to be um sharing with us seven things you shouldn't do to a child. You shouldn't. The first thing is shout. Don't shout on them. So I was there's this WhatsApp group I, I am part of and a women WhatsApp group and a question came up like, is it possible not to shout in a day on your children and the answers that came up is that it's not possible someone even said in fact it's one of your daily exercise in the fact it's some, one of the you know, daily exercise that a mother has to go through because once you have children around you must shout and I'm sure many of us resonate with this like you just have to shout but on the contrary i think it's possible not to shout now i know you might think okay maybe when well, you have more than one and all of that but it is something that we should you know we could work on not shouting and i'm going to be doing some studies on that also and i'll be releasing a video if it is not out already if it's out please do check it out about shouting like if it is, is it possible not to even shout but this is one thing and i know that we shouldn't do to each other like don't shout they would become shouters they will believe that that is the correct way of communicating like if i don't shout you know my parents like, they are just used to the environment where people shout come here sit down ah, so day to day we adopt it and they will shout and when maybe one day when you're talking to them they shout back at you and you're shocked like hey is it me you are talking to <laughs> and all of that stuff the second thing which is also very controversial in this part of the world in africa especially is to hit a child now the last time i hit my child i, I think i've i can remember hitting her two times and she she was just even much younger like a baby barely walking then and i hit her so it's not like i have i am that saint and i don't do all of these things i'm just you know sharing from what i have learned over time that evening she was crying so bad i had we she had eaten she had taking milk i had rocked her i backed her she was supposed to be sleeping and she was just crying and crying non-stop i was so pissed and i was tired very very tired and i didn't know what to do i had i danced with her laid down with her on the bed backed her again and every single thing you can think of i tried and i got so pissed that i spanked her bum bum and she increased the cry so that was actually my last hitting experience and somehow i learned and my, i think my husband also made mention of that that you don't even know what she's going through that you're hitting that girl she cannot talk you don't know what she's feeling so that's just one example some toddlers that could be naughty and all of that i feel that there are different ways to handle hitting like they are just different ways so maybe this would also be another video if it's not out already and then um, I, I believe that there is a better approach to hitting because briefly when you hit a child consistently the child gets used to it and by the time now two things happen the child either the child obeys you because he doesn't want to be hit or beaten or the child just dems the consequence of beating altogether JB is beat they will beat me I beg and still do whatever it is that they do so somehow beating a child is not a long-term disciplinary <laughs> disciplinary method another thing you should never do to a child is ignore a child like don't ignore a child they have feelings too and yes they could be burdensome 
but let them know that you see them let them know that you hear them if you're busy let them know that okay i'm busy and you need to wait for me to to finish what i'm doing and i'll attend to you or i'm talking you know just don't ignore them all together let them know communicate i feel like if we treat children to an extent the way we would treat a normal human being with respect then there will be a lot of change there will be a lot of difference and many of us we've recorded a lot of subtle abuse that we have gone through while we were little from neighbors from friends from our parents sometimes and all of that so please try not to ignore a child communicate if you don't have if you're not ready yet to attend to that child and maybe probably especially if they're younger toddlers keep them busy because they cannot just just stay like that they would definitely you know throw tantrums if they feel ignored if you've not seen the my video on why toddlers disobey intentionally one of the things i mentioned there if you've not seen please do well to check it out is that they might just want to get your attention so don't ignore them let them know that you see them you hear them and you can attend to them if you can and you might not be able to attend to them immediately just communicate with them another thing is don't discipline a child for crying really we are very fond of that thing in this part of our world here when a child starts to cry and you don't even know why he or she is crying and it's like is there anything that warrants tears now you might even be forced to punish that child because he or she is crying no they also they are also humans like i would always say they have feelings and they need to express it in one way or the other adults to cry we also cry just as some don't cry as much as some others some of us express our emotions different ways and for toddlers that could be the best way they could express their emotions so allow them to cry sometimes they might need to just cry they cry let them know you're there hug them hold them if they would agree to be held and just let them just know that you are there and um you validate their feelings if there is something you you know maybe you pick the, um, the particular emotion they are going through then acknowledge that you you know they are going through this or ask if they are feeling you know all of this it's just so that they will know that you validate their emotions and they are fine they are, it is okay to cry sometimes you know it's okay to cry sometimes if you've also not checked out my video on um how to help toddlers express their emotions please do well to check it out so i hope um we will try to put one or two of these to practice whatever your thoughts are on this point i have made please don't forget to drop it in the comment section please let the comment section bubble because we we need to learn more of these things together remember we're all on the parenting journey whether you are a parent directly or not you shall have a child around you so please drop your comments i would really appreciate them don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share it with as many as you think would um, benefit from it and finally thank you for um, so much to those who are already subscribed to this channel please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and then the notification bell so you will be notified when i upload another parenting content which i do every single week thank you so much for staying with me to this time and see you in my next video bye